still learning how to do this but anyway it's cool that I'm still able to do this so let's talk about eBay and how pissed off I am on the little thing that just happened so I'm still selling consoles yes and I sold a Wii console and since I sold that Wii console, I was like, oh, well, I need to put the other one up. And, of course, within a day, it did, but, of course, low ball, low ball, low ball. Which is not too bad. I mean, at least they actually did $10 more than, yeah, which is good. Which is good. But, anyways, the one that I felt like, oh, it's a mom. Yeah, I should definitely take the mom's, you know, request. Now, the suggy part about the mom's request is that somehow somehow ebay got the idea of you're paying for the shipping that's like what the fuck is this shit no and apparently that's what's going on the good news is that when it came to the wii u while doing post you know packaging and stuff i'm able to get ten dollars more it's like yeah i was able to get ten dollars out of it so that means that that shipping got canceled out with the extra money I got from the Wii U because, well, you know, when it comes to actually weighing in stuff, there's discrepancies and crap like that. So it totally sucks that at the end it's like, oh, I saved the money and it's like, oh, well, that money was used to actually pay for the damn shipping that didn't supposed to be fucking free. So I'm like, yeah, what the fuck is with this? And I tried looking. I tried looking because I was like, whoa, 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 why does it say free on it? It's like, why does the freaking um, shipping say free on it? What the fuck? So I actually was like, okay, I'm going to relist it because I have the other Wii. And I did. And I looked on it. And from the listing I can tell of selling one yourself, it did show that the buyer pays shipping. So I'm like, what cross to where it's like, I did they don't pay ship what the fuck is this huh what the fuck is this crap did they have a special wand or a freaking coupon or something which i was hoping that was it a coupon that says that they don't have to pay shipping and ebay's covering the shipping i'm like oh that's cool that's freaking cool here's my note is that if it's like if i have to pay for shipping for it then motherfuckers you don't get shit from that freaking damn bill just saying it's like, you don't deserve to get anything from it if I'm actually, I did not say I'm going to pay for shipping. I did not say that. I did not click on that crap. So I'm like, what the fuck happened in that situation? And I'm like, yeah, uh, eBay, no, I shouldn't be paying you for that one. That one should be pro bono all me. You shouldn't actually be asking her to pay for it unless you actually did get shipping and handling in that deal which you didn't for some dumbass reason so yeah that's the messed up controversy here is the fact of i didn't push yes i'll pay for the damn freaking shipping and lo and behold that's what's going on which i'm like that's some bullshit that's some bullshit because yeah that means that she actually got the wii console for sixty dollars no sixty five dollars and then lessen that blow, lessen it even more because eBay wants to fucking cut. And I'm like, yeah, fuck you, eBay. It's like eBay never really actually breaks it down what costs what. What did you get out of each thing? It's like they never do, but PayPal does, and I, I can respect them. Basically, when it comes to PayPal, for those who needs, who wants to know, every $10 you make, they'll take $1 from you. So if it's 20 It'll be, wait, is that true? Yeah, I think so. It's like, kind of, I think so. It used to be every $20 to actually take a dollar from you. But I think it might change up in the register. But from what I could tell is that $20, $10, they take $10, $1 off. So, like, for instance, I had something for $70 I sold. And they took, actually, $4 out of it. Which, I'm fine with it. It's like, yeah, I'm fine with it. It makes sense. Okay. I understand. I'm cool with that. eBay, on the other hand, does not tell you exactly what did you take from each. And, hey, it's cool you did a bundle, but listen, I don't want to need a bundle. I need to understand how much I should be charging so you get to have your cut. I can have my cut. And PayPal actually gets their cut no matter what because, well, shipping fees. Shipping actually helps on that front. So I'm just saying... 
in the end, all of it, it's totally stupid. Where it's like, you don't tell me how much you want from it. And then in the very end, it's like, so you want me to lose money just so you can get freaking money. But if you tell me what exactly you want from it, I could actually put that into the cost. And yeah, most likely you're going to be a jerk bag and be like, oh yeah, well, you added more money to it, so we want even more money from it. It's like, yeah, well, you're a bastard, and fine, I'm okay with it as long as I'm able to soften the blow for me personally. But since you don't tell me that, I always get blindsided with this bullshit. It's like, yeah, every time I'm like, oh, I got the $200. Oh, never mind. It's like, I would have got the 200 if it was for your sorry asses. <laughs> or I almost came to $100 and... Because you're sorry, I just, it's like, yeah, it's getting very tiresome where it's like, I would like to know how much money do you want from each freaking listing? The listing different from like 100 to $5 to $3 and stuff. It's like, I just would like to know so I can calculate and figure out how we can all be happy. Besides, PayPal's happy. I'm okay and then your sorry ass is like, oh, hey, everybody, I came here to get my cut. It's like, I don't even understand what you fucking really want. Yes, I want, know you want money, but motherfucker, I'm trying to actually make it decently profitable for myself. Not, oh, I can make myself 75% profitable instead of 100% profitable. Yeah, you're sorry ass, and sometimes you're freaking damn stupid um, advice suck ass. So it's like, sometimes where it's like, you want me to sell it for this much, but people are selling it for this much. I'm like, then if I don't take your advice, you don't get shit. <laughs> if I take your advice, you can get some. You can get your cut. But it's like, when you're telling me to lowball myself on something that's very, very price like a decent price it's like what the fuck is wrong with you and why the fuck do i even give you money if your sorry ass want me to sell something like let's say this right here this thing right here they most likely say mm, 10 bucks 15 bucks and i can sell it for close to maybe 20 maybe even 25 and they're like oh yeah uh maybe 10 maybe seven dollars and it's like taking their advice the fuck just seriously, the fuck.